A strange radio signal that repeats every three seconds has been discovered by astronomers. Additionally, every 0.2 seconds throughout this three-second span, greater intensity radiation bursts happen. This heartbeat-shaped signal is actually a quick radio burst that has never been witnessed before. But what exactly are these enigmatic radio signals? Where do these radio wave bursts come from? Finally, and most significantly, why are these signals regarded as one of astronomy's most intriguing open questions? Hello everyone. This is AWZ. Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy. At Parkes Observatory in New South Wales, Australia, the investigation into the fast radio burst mystery started in 2007. Astronomers combed through the radio telescope data in search of anything out of the ordinary or puzzling. They searched for nothing, nothing, and nothing for months. After that, boom! A brief burst of extremely intense radio waves, followed by nothing again the astronomers were intrigued by this small spike and began to speculate as to its possible explanation. Was this signal generated by a phone beside the radio telescope, or was it maybe coming from space? Sadly, there was no way to find out since the signal had long since faded. The rise was seen in the data that was collected in 2001, which is six years ago. The best that could be done was for astronomers to find more of these quick radio bursts. They discovered 16 additional of these spikes, which resembled quick radio bursts, during this operation. However, there was something unsettling about them. The radio burst would only cover one radio pixel if it were coming from space. This is due to the fact that all of the objects in the universe, regardless of size, are so far away that they only appear as minuscule specks in the sky. Therefore, if the burst originated from space, it would only take up one radio pixel. However, these brand new signals were visible across the telescope's 13 radio pixels. That had to be of terrestrial origin. They also showed up during noon, which was another strange thing about them. It turned determined that the burst originated from a microwave. A brief radio wave burst that provided the signal would escape the oven when it was opened before being switched off. Today's radio astronomers refer to these signals as paratons. They resemble quick radio bursts, but originate on Earth. However, for extra bursts that each took up a single radio pixel were also found by researchers. These were quick radio bursts that originated from space and had nothing to do with radio transmitters on Earth. But how could we possibly be so certain about it? In addition to the fact that they only happened at a single radio pixel, the wavefront shape of the signal also provided evidence that they originated from space. Additionally, the distance to the FRBs cannot be closer than 10,000 kilometers, according to interferometers, ruling out the possibility that they originated on Earth. But even knowing that they came from the cosmos wasn't enough. Therefore, the first question that needed an answer was whether these signals originated outside of the Milky Way or within it. The signal itself provided the following hint. These FRBs had a wide frequency range because they were broadband transmissions. Lower frequency radio signals have a delay when they travel through space's gas and dust. So, by monitoring the difference in time between the low and high frequency signals, researchers can calculate how much gas these bursts had traversed. The findings indicated that these signals had traveled through gas in addition to that found in the solar system and even in our own galaxy. The FRBs were therefore emanating from far-off galaxies. The fact that these bright, point-like bursts were dispersed over the Milky Way's plane was another indicator that they had an extragalactic origin. Rather, they spread out throughout the sky. But even knowing that the FRBs came from far-off galaxies was insufficient. We wanted to identify the precise cause or source of the radio blasts. As a result, astronomers in Australia created the ESCAP telescope. 
It is a collection of 36 telescopes that function as one large telescope. The quick radio bursts were not only picked up by a scap, but it was also able to determine the direction of their origin to within a hundred thousandth of a degree. From a distance of 100 kilometers, 62 miles, that is roughly the size of a coin. Astronomers therefore focused the most potent optical observatories, including the Hubble Space Telescope, on the galaxy that produced the FRB when a scap discovered the locked direction of one of the FRBs. And they observed this. It's pretty dissimilar from the magnificent images of galaxies that Hubble often produces. That's because it's so far away that even the most advanced telescopes on the planet struggle to detect its existence. Nearly 3.5 billion light years away from us, this galaxy was the source of the rapid radio burst. This indicates that the radio signal we discovered began its cosmic trip just as life on Earth was emerging. How therefore could it be discovered over such a great distance? This burst has to have been caused by a very strong event. This millisecond radio explosion had the same amount of energy as our sun does in a year. It was necessary for whatever caused the quick radio burst to have a maximum diameter of 10 kilometers. But are there any such potent objects in the universe that are smaller than a city? The neutron star, which is the dead core of a huge star and resembles a large atomic nucleus, is the solution. One of the densest things in the universe is a neutron star. Even a teaspoonful of its constituents would weigh 5.5 trillion kilograms, which is 900 times more than the Great Pyramid of Giza. However, other things besides neutron stars have also been suggested as the cause of FRBs. They may also result from supernova explosions, gamma ray bursts, neutron star mergers, black hole mergers, or even hypothetical objects called blitzars, which are pulsars that could swiftly collapse into black holes. And of course, when it comes to radio transmissions from space, how can we avoid the theory that they were created by aliens? But in 2020, astronomers found the first FRB from within the Milky Way, strengthening the evidence for neutron stars. Dispersion measurements revealed that the signal originated from the direction of a galactic magnetar located in the Volpecula constellation, roughly 30,000 light years away. Having a magnetic field of the order of trillions of Teslas, a magnetar is a strongly magnetized neutron star. Fast radio bursts have stellar origins, and this discovery provided conclusive proof of that. It was a significant turning point in radio astronomy. Even though we have discovered numerous quick radio bursts over the past 15 years, the enigma has not yet been fully resolved. Astronomers discovered a three-second repeating FRB in July 2022. Comparable FRBs are just a thousandth that long. In addition, inside the three-second interval, bursts of greater intensity radiation happen every 0.2 seconds. This signal's mixed origin signs are another peculiar feature. Either a magnetar or a pulsar could be the source. Although the distance this signal has traveled is still unknown, it most likely originated in a different galaxy. Over a million times brighter than magnet R's and pulsars in our own galaxy, it appears to be outbursting. To determine where and what might be triggering this FRB, the team is hoping to catch more outbursts from the enigmatic source. This could ultimately aid in our understanding of neutron stars. To ensure that you don't miss any future videos like this video, subscribe to our channel and click the bell button. Thank you for viewing.